SpaceX's Starship is rapidly approaching its launch date. While environmental assessments have cleared the way for rockets' test flights, any mission to Mars may launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, leaving Texas with a precarious future. To combat this, Texas plans to make a massive public investment in space over the next two years, hoping to change the commercial space industry in the state. This investment could be enough to secure Starship flights in Texas, but only time will tell. During a recent gathering at the site, Elon Musk showed a simulated launch of humans from Texas to the Red Planet. Musk acknowledged the construction of a new launch site at Kennedy Space Center and the future role of Starbase. He stated that the site is well suited for advanced R&D, where new designs and versions of the rocket can be tested. Meanwhile, Kennedy Space Center would become the primary operational launch site. Since its inception, Boca Chica Beach has been associated with the idea of being the gateway to Mars. Musk once positioned the spaceport as a place where history would be made, stating that it could be the location where the first person to go to another planet would launch from. However, if SpaceX demotes its Texas spaceport to a research facility, the economic benefits will still remain from the demand for skilled workers. Despite the environmental clearance for SpaceX's Starship test flights from its Texas Starbase, the future of the site remains uncertain. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk recently hinted that Kennedy Space Center in Florida could become the main operational launch site for SpaceX missions to Mars. However, Texas plans to make a huge public investment in space, with Governor Greg Abbott calling on the state legislature to provide $350 million to create and fund a Texas Space Commission for the next two years. This investment is expected to change the commercial space industry in Texas and cement the state as a preeminent location for innovation and development in the rapidly growing industry. The proposal is a strategic move aimed at cementing Texas as the preeminent location for innovation and development in the rapidly growing space industry. With other states and countries also vying for a piece of the space pie, it's important for Texas to remain at the cutting edge of space technology and development. The Texas Space Commission, which will be created with the proposed funding, will play a crucial role in driving the development of the space industry in the state. The Commission's focus is yet to be fully defined, but it's expected to address various areas such as workforce development, infrastructure development, and support for commercial spaceflight operations. The proposed Commission's framework was prepared by Houston-based workforce development organization TechSpace and is expected to be passed with support from leaders in both the House and Senate. With the historic budget surplus in Texas, the investment in the space industry will ensure that Texas remains at the forefront of the space industry not only in the United States, but in the entire world. This is great news for the 1,600 employees at Starbase facilities, some of whom may have faced job loss due to the uncertainty around the site's future. For Brownsville City, which was named the poorest city in America in 2013, SpaceX's arrival at the site was a game changer. City Commissioner Jessica Tetro believes that SpaceX was also meant to become and save them from their economic situation. She hopes that the momentum gained from the investment in the space industry in Texas continues, with no jobs lost to Florida or families relocated. The proposed commission to establish an economic ecosystem for Texas's space enterprises is an exciting development for the state's commercial space industry. With the focus on policy and strategy, the Commission will monitor local, state, and federal policies and opportunities to ensure that Texas's space enterprise can continue to grow and thrive. The Commission's membership will include 15 members, including political appointees and representatives from SpaceX and Blue Origin, two of the largest space companies in the state. SpaceX in particular has a sizable presence in Texas and has been attracted to the state in recent years due to its wide open spaces, low taxes, and lenient regulatory environments. The company has built a massive launch facility in South Texas, large factories to produce Raptor engines and Starlink satellites, and an expansive rocket test facility in McGregor, which it acquired in 2002. 
Blue Origin, on the other hand, has looked elsewhere in recent years when seeking to build a large factory for its BE-4 rocket engines. A few years ago, a spaceport in Houston was a finalist, but the region lost out to northern Alabama at the time. The goal of the commission is to ensure that SpaceX and Blue Origin continue to grow their presence in the state and nurture other smaller startups. This would be an extremely large state investment in the commercial space industry, with the potential for significant economic impact. The state of Florida is currently the leader in such activities, with the Space Florida Promotional Organization supporting myriad commercial space activities around its space coast and launch industry. However, the proposed investment in Texas may give Florida a run for its money and provoke a response from the state. The proposed commission also plays into a political rivalry between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, both Republicans who may run for president during the 2024 election. Both governors have been engaging in a public back and forth over the past year or two, with much of the activity focusing on social issues and immigration. However, both governors like to brag about their states being business friendly and an investment in Texas's commercial space industry may be seen as a response to Florida's successful investment in this sector. Overall, the commission is an exciting development for Texas's commercial space industry and could have a significant economic impact on the state. With the potential for increased investment and growth, Texas could become a major player in the commercial space industry, rivaling even the current leader, Florida. So that is all the time we have for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all in the next one.